Hi, Tony here once again. Just wanted to continue on with that discussion about photos and the issues that we have with Facebook photos being less useful because of their low resolution. Well, they don't necessarily have to be low resolution, as I'm about to indicate. So, I'm sure you all know that um, you can access photos by simply clicking on that link there. Did you know you can create albums in Facebook. Now, the last set of photos I uploaded were these Baron Deuterange Gullies images and I just decided to put them in uh, an album for the purposes of demonstration. So open that photo up, album up and there's the 2467 photos that are in it. Um, each of them has their own description you see this is the ruins of the cottage on Ridge Lane and that helps the person who might want to use that photo down the track which is usually me but it doesn't have to be me it could be any one of a number of people hopefully so if I wanted to save that file once again I could just save image as and I'll call it ruins on Ridge Lane and save. Now let's have a look and what, see what size image that was. Show in folder and Brims on Ridge Lane properties 616 kilobytes, 10 times the size of uh, of the Margaret ducking under the the fallen timber. So maybe not 10 times, but at least five or six times in that then we get to be a size that can be much more useful in terms of utilising them for a slideshow, perhaps. So, how do you get to upload higher resolution photos into Facebook? Well, according to the Facebook help, which is pretty good, um, it's done fairly easily. For higher quality images, check the high quality box when you create an album. So, if you're using the Facebook app or the iPhone for iPhone or Android, you can choose to always upload photos in high resolution or high HD as it's referred to as high definition. Note, with the help, you can, you've got computer help and you've got mobile help. And you get to choose when you've got a mobile whether you want Android or iPhone assistance. I'll bring up Android. Um, and it gives you steps to follow so that you can upload photos all the time at higher resolution. Creating an album when you upload the photos is a very good practice as well, so I encourage you to do that. Okay, so I thought I'd just swap back to Flickr so that I can give you a bit of a, an example of why Flickr handles photos uh, very in a very sophisticated manner. So we've got this the album up of the event that was held last Sunday. Let's say I wanted to grab this particular photo and use it in a number of different ways. I've opened it up. Now I'm just going to scroll down a bit to the bottom right and show you tools that you've got for downloading and or uh, what's called embedding. So this is the download tool here, and when I click on that, look at all the options I've got. I can view all sizes, and I can choose from the, the options as to which size I want to download, which is really convenient. If I go view all sizes, I can then usually go for this particular size if I'm developing something to display, say an event report, for example, if I want to uh, use on the club's website and so on. It's showing all of the sizes that are available. In this case, and generally speaking, I prefer rather than um, downloading photos, I prefer to embed them. And this is the embed link here, or share as it calls it there. Uh, and so if I click on that, once again I get the size options to choose from. Let's just go with 800 by 389 seems to work well on pages. 
of, the, of our website and it develops the code for you there. Now I'll just copy that code and I've got the capacity now to paste that code into a Murray Valley Bushwalkers website page. So I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration of how that works. Here's the event report that I've generated already on the Barrandita Gullies Walk. I'm going to paste into the page uh, that additional photo that's in, that will be embedded. So to do that, I need to find the page that it's currently on. Okay, here it is. Ignore all the gobbledygook, and I'm just going to paste in the new image. I'll save and close, and go back to the event report refresh it or reload it and it should show the new photo down the bottom as it does with the title and uh, if I click on it um, it will take me to Flickr and show me a bit more detail of that photo so that's it for photos uh, if you want to continue using Facebook I urge you to consider uploading photos in higher resolution and also making albums for photos um, but if you want to learn the joys of Flickr um, then don't hesitate to ask I'm available always okay thanks for watching bye